I recently decluttered the heck out of my phone. I got rid of so many pictures that I didn't need. And I also got rid of so many apps on my phone. The apps that are currently on my phone right now are the apps that I truly love and I truly need. I honestly feel like with the new year right around the corner, this is the perfect time to declutter the heck out of your life. So declutter that closet of yours, declutter your technology, declutter your home, your entire life. Just want to start off the new year feeling fresh and not feel feel bogged down by your environment so if you are thinking of decluttering your life just do it because it helps and I also did a Christmas iOS 15 theme you know me I love my themes I love making my phone look really aesthetic so I thought why not update you guys with what's on my iPhone if you are new to my channel I do have the iPhone 13 Pro Max I upgraded when the phone came out back in September I believe so I do have the blue iPhone absolutely gorgeous this is my baby I love it so much I did get a Christmas phone case did I need a Christmas phone case absolutely not am I obsessed and so happy that I got it yes this is the Christmas case that I picked up it's so freaking beautiful it just brings all the good vibes every time I pick up my phone and I love it so let's just jump right into what's actually on my iPhone let me screen record you guys know the drill so this is my lock screen I created this background myself based on on pictures that I found on Pinterest. I will have my Pinterest a link below so you can check them out and add them to your phone if you want. I also have my lock screen on my Pinterest so if you want to twin with me you definitely can. I just really like it. I think it's super cute. Love the Christmas aesthetic especially since this is my first year living in Florida. I feel like I'm overcompensating for not getting any snow like I literally am surrounding myself with everything Christmassy so this lock screen definitely gives me the Christmas vibes that I need all right so when we unlock my phone this is the screen that comes up first I wanted to keep my home screen very simple very clean I didn't want a lot going on so I did choose a plain white background there's really nothing special and then if we go to the left for a minute I have the weather widget it's currently 64 degrees in Tampa a little too cold for my liking if I'm being honest and then I have the flow widget which is just my period tracker app when we're back to the main screen on the top left hand corner I just have a calendar widget and then next to it I just have a picture of a hot cocoa when you think of Christmas you think of hot cocoa so you know just fits the vibe how many times do you think I can say vibe in this video <laughs> and then right in the middle, I just have a to-do list. This is from the Reminder app. With that, I just have the things that I have to do today. It's not my complete to-do list. For that, I have a actual planner. But these are just items that I need to get done that are important. So I just have them front and center so I don't forget. And right at the bottom, I have more Christmassy app icons. But I have Pinterest. We already know how much I love Pinterest. You guys, like seriously, go follow me if you don't follow me yet Let's get to 4,000 before the year is over and obviously I have the gram this is the last account I was checking out don't ask why but yeah I need to do a better job at posting I know I'm gonna get better but go follow me if you want and then obviously I have the camera app. Love, love, love the iPhone 13's camera. I upgraded from an iPhone 12 Pro Max and you would think that the camera wasn't that much better, but it actually is. It's way better than the iPhone 12's camera. It's kind of scary how good it is. And then right next to it, I just have pictures right now i have 14,645 photos and like i mentioned at the beginning of the video i did delete a bunch of photos and as you guys can see i still have a long way to go to be fair i've been collecting photos on my icloud since 2014 it's been a few years and then i have youtube make sure to subscribe you're watching this video might as well stick around and watch all my other what's on my iphone videos i have like 20 on my channel and then I have the studio app and this is where I just go to check on a video's progress to respond to comments things like that and then I have my work email which I deleted a bunch of email and I finally responded to so many people I am the worst at responding to texts DMs and emails you would think since this is my job that I would do a better job at responding and being social but I am not good 
at any of those three things. I don't know why it's so hard for me to respond to people. It just is, you guys. So if I don't respond right away, please don't get offended. It's just, I do it to everyone. It's just the way I am. I've always been like this and I don't think I'm going to change anytime soon. So bear with me. And then right next to my work email, I just have my regular mail, which I've had this email since college. I've mentioned this before and I just don't want to get rid of it. It has like sentimental value to me for some reason, but I had over 2,500 emails in that mailbox that I just deleted all of it because I was like, I know there's nothing important in here and I got rid of it all and now it's at zero, so we're good. And then right on the dock, I just have my phone if I ever need to make a phone call, which never happens, and then text messages. Comment down below if you're also bad at responding to texts. If I'm being honest, half the time I open up a text, I read it, I mentally respond, and then I get distracted with something else, and then I realize after a few days that I never actually responded to the text, and I'm like, oh my god, I'm so sorry. And if I'm like this now without kids, imagine once I become a mom. I won't respond to anything. <laughs> But on the next page, I have a bunch of little widgets just with more Christmas pictures to fit the vibe, <laughs> the aesthetic. And then for the apps that I have on this page, Amazon, obviously, we love Amazon, Safari, Macari, Luxor, which is just the uh, locker system here in my apartment buildings for when I get Amazon packages and I have to go pick them up. I have the uh, Like to Know app. This is just the app that I use to keep track of my commission. If I ever link a product and you guys buy the product using that link, I get a very small like commission based off that. So thank you to anyone who's ever used my links i can't say thank you enough and then right next to the like to know app i just have magic links which is a another version of like to know it's just another way to link items for you guys and then i just keep track of how many people clicked those links how many people actually purchased something things like that and then i have the notes app like literally i have so many notes on here it's ridiculous very important i use that a lot and then of course i have the settings app i only have two pages on my home screen i keep it very simple these are the apps that i again use the most and then for my app library like i mentioned i got rid of a bunch of stuff so if we go to social i have instagram obviously i already said that text messages whatsapp only use that app to text my sister christy she first that app for some reason so that's how we communicate and then in photo and video i have my camera i have camera Canon Camera Connect, the app for my two Canon cameras. So if I ever take pictures using these cameras, I can just send them to my phone using Bluetooth. Very simple. PicMonkey, if you have ever wondered how I create my backgrounds for my iPhone and for my MacBook, it's PicMonkey. I also use PicMonkey for my thumbnails. It's super easy to use. I do have a paid subscription service to them because I use them so much, but they do have a free version that is just as good. I use the free version for a very long time before I decided to upgrade to the paid version. Next to PicMonkey, I have Pixar, which I don't really... Actually, I do use Pixar. I I was about to say I don't really use it, but then I remember I use it every time I upload to my Instagram feed, which is not very often, but I just like using that to add in my photos. I don't really do a lot to my photos. If anything, I turn up the brightness, I add a little bit more of color, and then I add noise to it. That's pretty much it. And then I have TubeBuddy, which is just a app for YouTubers. It helps come up with tags for your videos. It helps you see like how your videos are doing compared to other people in the same niche. And then for productivity, I have the calendar app, just the regular Apple one. And then I recently downloaded the calendars app i'm still playing around with it so i don't have a lot on here every year i try to go digital instead of using an actual agenda and it lasts for like a week so i don't know if it's gonna work but i like the app so far and i've heard a lot of good things about this calendars app so we shall see express vpn i mention them in every what's in my iphone video it just hides your ip address and prevents websites from tracking you you do have to pay for a subscription but i think it's worth it and then i have the fedex app files gmail this is my work email i'm still working on it this is my regular email which why do i have five emails 
I have the notes, reminders, shortcuts, Todoist, which is another app that I found. I don't know, there's something about writing down your events, your to-do list and scratching it off. It's so satisfying, but I'm really trying my best to go digital. We shall see. There's also a Todoist widget for my Apple Watch, which is one of the reasons why I downloaded that app. I'm trying to get the most out of my Apple Watch as well. UPS and Widget Smith. For entertainment, so if I'm being honest, aside from Instagram, I really don't use my phone for entertainment. For entertainment, I just have Amazon Music. I have Yahoo Fantasy app because my husband and I are currently competing. We have fantasy teams going up against each other. I have Brady as my quarterback, so you already know how I'm doing. Actually, not that great because he lost like three games, but that's okay. We still love him. And then I have the Peacock app, which I'm going to delete right now because like I said, I don't watch anything on my phone. I have podcasts, I have Yahoo Sports, and I have YouTube. That's it. No Netflix, no Hulu, nothing like that. I really try to limit my screen time on my phone. I don't like being on my phone all the time. And then for other, I just have Anchor, which is the platform I used to or used <laughs> to upload my podcast. I've been slacking on my podcast. I definitely need to relaunch that in the new year, but that's just the platform I use. I have the fitness app, Flow app, which is just, again, a period tracker for me. I have the health app, Num. Puzz, I think that's how you pronounce it, but it's basically a little brain stimulator game that I like to play whenever I'm bored. You just have to get the numbers in order like this, and sometimes it can be really hard and I'm not really concentrating right now, so I'm doing horrible. It also helps with my anxiety sometimes, so pretty fun. For travel, I just have Uber, Google Maps, Lyft, and Spin, which Spin is the app for the scooters here in Tampa. When Whenever my husband and I want to go scooter downtown or something like that, we will use a spin up. And then for finance, I have all of my credit cards, all of my banking stuff. I have TD Ametrade, which is the platform I use to invest. Coinbase now because I am dipping into cryptocurrency. I'm so proud of myself. Credit Karma because hello, I'm an adult. We need to have great credit scores around here. But yeah, that's pretty much it for everything that's on my iPhone. I don't have a lot on there. The last stuff I have on this bad boy the less I'll go on it. But let me know in the comments below one app that you can't live without, that you swear by, and that you need to have it on your phone. I would love to know. Also, if you know of a good planning app that would get me away from using a physical planner and agenda, leave that app down below so I can check it out and maybe try it out. But that's pretty much it for today's video. I really hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe. I would love to have you a part of my channel, and I'll see you guys in in the next one. Bye guys. 